Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As dedicated free to play player who played this game for more than 200, 500 days, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Uh, finally, Pass 4 just opened and we are going to have amazing fights against uh, tier 5 players. Of course, they can push us through, we need to defend at first and then we will try to figure out what we are going to do. Uh, as always we will going to compare archers and mage legions uh, simply because uh, that's the always the funniest parts uh, and whenever you're gonna compare which uh, range the unit is more superior in terms of free to play players and in terms of uh, damage against uh, tier 5 players uh, we are going to use Walder and Welling and Bertrand and Tohar now, I have been using Walder and Welling for uh, quite some time already and uh, Bertrand and Tohar I just made it in this seasons, uh, season because I when I understood that we weren't gonna have a long range war I wanted to have second mage legion to fight with, right? So that was my decision, that's why I built Bertrand and Tohar and also it helps that on a universal artifact um, event I got my orb so my Bertrand and Tohar is simply 5-1-1-1 hero pair, right? Uh, I will try my best to not get targeted because that's the game uh, name of the game. Uh, if you are going to survive these fights and you are not going to get targeted, uh, it means you are going to deal more damage, right? And more damage kinda equals to more merits. Um, doesn't really matter if you are like if your attack is high, if you are tier five player. Um, if you are going to get targeted, you are going to uh, die fast and you will have low and low merits. Unfortunately, simply because we are fighting against tier 5 players here, even counter attack damage is quite high and as you can see, uh, when in a second when I got target on myself, I moved back, right? Uh, slowly, of course, I will let my rally move up and then I will continue. Um, enemy dropped Hydra, which actually might have dealt quite a lot of damage to my legions. And we have a giant bear, I guess, and yeah, unfortunately Hydra is like um, on top of me and dealing some miasma damage to my legions, right? Yeah, that was actually main reason why my legions got so low, simply because of the um, Hydra being on top of me, right? Yeah unfortunate but yeah that's fine uh, still i will try my best to soak up as much merits as possible in this kind of fights it's much better to be as active as possible uh, because um, whenever you have more free to play players than enemies and enemies have more tier 5 players uh, you can only uh, win against them if you are active right and yeah as you can see in terms of activity we are doing quite fine Let's try to focus on this Hydram and uh, then we're gonna try to focus on enemies uh, and yeah, I will just move forward, I want to use my uh, Phoenix Eye on a multiple targets which is always the case whenever I'm fighting, right? Um, of course, if I will get yellow merits in this fight it will be amazing but simply because of the Hydra mechanic and Hydra damage I think it will be quite hard for me to get that amount of damage in this fight but in terms of like whole battlefield I think this is totally epic um, this fight will continue for a whole day and I hope it will continue uh, more than one day and yeah let's see how everything will end up we are already in the mid to late game of our carry K and yeah like I guess there is not much time for farming it's important to get merits and win these zones right and pass 4 indicates that if you are playing this game you have to fight like this is the most fun you can have in Call of Dragons whenever you are fighting yeah unfortunately I think Behemoth did quite a lot of damage to my legions um, and also the counter attack damage from the uh, tier 5 players is also another reason why I think I got quite a lot of damage on my uh, mages right but I, I think still uh, we are doing a good job in terms of targets I only target got targeted once and I'm not even sure if I if the guy uh, touched me there I would just straight up move move back right because that's all that's always the option you are going to have whenever you are fighting uh, yeah, my Walder and Bertrand is going to die in super fast. Um, I will try my best to use Phoenix Eye, but actually it will be super fast because even counter attack damage will be 
uh, huge in my case, in Walder's case, and yeah, I think uh, it's the end of the day, Walder did what was possible in these fights. Uh, yeah, I will try my best to use uh, my Rage Orb one more time, it will be great to deal damage, because my Rage Orb also deals damage to a couple of targets, and yeah, I think as a free-to-play player, the highest amount of damage you can deal is actually uh, uh, with the artifact. And yeah, it's pretty sad that it's quite hard to get good artifacts and to level up them uh, towards the 5 levels, right? A 5 level artifact is a huge amount of merits even in a single use. So this is a big difference between the pay-to-win players and uh, tier 5s, right? And um, free-to-play players, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, Bertrand is still alive. I will try my best to make uh, as much merits as possible because we are actually comparing archers and mages in these fights and uh, we will see uh, who got how many merits. Yeah, finally, mages are done. Uh, we tried our best. We did what was possible. And right now we are going to... Uh, try with the archers, right? In our case, archers are without long range warfare. Uh, we have Nico and Kinara, which is my strongest uh, um, hero pair in the game because um, Kinara is my first awakened hero, legendary hero. Um, Syndrome and Fregar is free to play friendly, 5 1 1 1, and Craig is awakened, and Thea is also like 5 2 3 1 or something like this, which is like uh, more of a free to play. Uh, uh, Thea, right? Uh, yeah, whenever you are playing as an archers, I think you should understand that your main targets are going to be uh, most for most frequently infantry players, and after that, um, like if cavalry player will rush on your legion, I think then you can have a, a different target. And also, if uh, one of the enemy mages are going to uh, overstep and make a wrong move, you can always punish, right? That's why I like to play with the zoomed out strategy uh, simply because I can understand what's going on actually on uh, on the battlefield right uh, right now I think our number one priority should be to defeat this infantry as fast as possible and then I think we're gonna have a access to uh, mages right because they don't have that many infantries uh, on their uh, front line uh, that was their rallies actually and uh, yeah we just broke down their rallies now our infantry is, will move up and yeah this mage that's what I said, if you will see that the mage player just overstep uh, in this kind of wars, it actually happens frequently because players are still sometimes playing with the, uh, from the phone and yeah, like many things can happen, right? Uh, yeah, but uh, main idea is to not get targeted even with the archers, uh, that's why main the, uh, focus is always infantry and if you will see uh, some mage player overstepping, yeah, just punish because you are going to deal more damage than them. Uh, yeah, the difference is big if we are talking about uh, tier 4 and tier 5, but still I think archers are pretty big counter to mage legion uh, in general. Yeah, slowly we are moving forward, I think it was important for us to defeat these uh, rally infantry players, which uh, were dealing quite high amount of damage uh, towards our legions and the tankiness also, because uh, it's well known that Goresh and Skogul is not only uh, about uh, being tanky, it's, all, it's also having a high amount of damage, right? Uh, so far I think we are doing fine. These hero pairs were, are already uh, alive longer, I guess simply because we don't have any behemoths here. And slowly I guess we kinda have to move forward hitting on the backline, right? Because... Uh, they are having less and less infantry players and we kind of have to um, uh, use the moment and try to hit backline because if you are not going to kill backline then it will be hard for you right uh, like all the time your only tar target is going to be some infantry players and at the end of the day uh, their mages are having free time attacking your uh, backline right which is quite uh, bad uh, that's why main ideas about fights in the last in this season is um, regarding like uh, defeat infantry as soon as possible as soon as possible and uh, whenever you're gonna see there is no infantry try to hit ranged units yeah as soon as uh, alliance does that that's the winner right this guy is pretty tanky um, because yeah i think a lot of players are attacking him but i think slowly we are going to move forward and i think um, these archers are going to have quite a high merits because um, we have not got targeted so far, uh, no like no damage received from like pure attacks. 
only damage we got from here is like more of a counter attack damage and yeah as i said you can see how many um, overstep mage players is there um, right now i did overstep myself but yeah i i think i did it faster and i moved back right uh, sometimes when there is a lot of legions around battlefield, um, these icons kind of lag, that's why sometimes it's good to uh, zoom in and zoom out to double check if everything is showing correctly, right? That's the case. We are trying our best to cut their bridge. I guess that's the name of the fight. Uh, we, ha we have to cut their supply uh, of new filling legions and that's why we are trying our best to defeat this uh, small bridge and uh, if our infantry players are going to stand there it will be perfect right that's the, the most important fight right here um, yeah I guess if we are going to cut this bridge then I think we will have free time attacking this ball and it will be uh, it, it's a quite epic battle not gonna lie uh, it has a meaning it has like uh, strategy here and uh, what's also important is that we are still fighting as a free to play player in this big uh, tier 5 players fight right that's the that's what i actually mention all the time uh, even if you are a free to play player understand that you actually matter um, i understand you might have lower amount of uh, uh, merits throughout the game um, as well, if you're gonna compare to tier 5 players but if you are just like me whose main motivation is to have as much fun as possible in the game. Uh, my main motivation is not to be number one, my main motivation from games is to have fun, then I think even uh, being free to play player you are going to have fun. Like for example in this fight, in this video I'm having a lot of fun, I'm enjoying this fight and uh, that's the reason why I'm playing this game, right? I understand this game has a lot of flaws, a lot of things to uh, repair or make it better, but what does not, right? Everything has uh, things to uh, change and things to repair this game is still quite new and i'm i'm looking forward uh, by seeing what's coming future of in call of dragons which i have been asking for a long time is a new faction i like that we are having a uh, new epic heroes in the game but new faction would bring a lot of excitement for call of dragons players you can see how much uh, counter attack damage uh, these tier 5 infantry players are dealing to me uh, like my Syndrome and Frega is basically gone from only uh, getting counter-attack damage, uh, but yeah, I'll, I will try my best to um, fight until the Legion is alive, because that's the only time I can see how we are doing in terms of marriage, because uh, yeah, as I have mentioned um, at the start of the video, we are kind of comparing merits of uh, Waldir and Welin, uh, Bertrand and Tohar and the Archers, right? Unfortunately, our only target here is uh, infantry players. Uh, that's the name of the game so far, but yeah, like whatever target it is, it's good, right? Because we actually gained a lot of uh, ground here. Um, uh, they were kind of coming out um, a lot, but we managed to move them back. Uh, if I was mage here, of course, I would target the big line, but simply because I'm archer, and if I will move uh, in a wrong direction, I think um, having what's in front of you is important to hit, right? Uh, because you're only gonna have um, many chances of hitting anything, uh, actually, whenever you are fighting. Yeah, my strongest legion is still alive, which is Nico and Ginara. Uh, unfortunately, simply because we hit a lot of uh, infantry players, we will have not the highest amount of merits, but yeah, we will try. Uh, in this kind of uh, fights, of course, it's better to have heroes which are dealing damage to multiple targets, and also my artifact usage was only kind of against uh, infantry players, and yeah, I think this uh, Shadow Blades was quite good. Uh, because we, we managed to deal target damage to multiple targets. Uh, finally, uh, the Craig is gone too with Sindrion, and only hero which is left is my Nico and Ginara, which, uh, which is gone too. Right now it's time for us to check uh, our hospital. We are doing absolutely amazing in this fight. Uh, we are uh, moving them back and we are trying to gain more ground. Uh, check, let's check hospital. I had... Um, 
I'm not sure if I had the, yeah, I had the full hospital. That's the fight um, uh, recap, um, fighting against tier 5 players with multiple legions is quite rough. Um, in my opinion, that's the almost half a billion um, severely wounded troops. Uh, for now, I will be healing mages because I will be using mages morely, more because I think dealing damage to multiple targets in this kind of fights actually matters a lot. And uh, yeah, that's, why, that's the main reason why I chose to heal more uh, mages and also I have way more archers than mages in general. Uh, yeah, that was the hospital bill which we got, almost half a billion uh, severely wounded troops. That's what you get whenever you are fighting against uh, tier 5 players. Now what's most important is to check our report section um, uh, simply because um, uh, we are we fight because we want to see how much merits we got. I guess it was a little lag and let's check Yeah, I think we got like quite a lot of yellow merits if we're gonna think that we are fighting against tier 5 players um, uh, As I said, Waldir and Welin has the highest score because uh, Phoenix I was used uh, multiple uh, times with multiple members and yeah Whenever you are having fun in war you just you just prefer to use an artifact on couple of targets, right? Uh, actually I'm surprised that um, uh, Bertrand and Tohar did pretty well and I think in general we did quite well in these fights uh, we have four yellow merits, one Sengren and Fregar, because Heart of Kamase is more of a utility type of artifact than anything, that's why we just have normal merits here, but, but I think um, every free-to-play player would be happy with these merits in these kind of fights, right? Because every, almost every single uh, target which we hit was tier 5 player, and it's not easy to fight against them, because you are simply getting too much uh, counter-attack damage. Also, our mages was fighting with with uh, enemy Hydra on top of them, so it's quite surprising how much we still got. Uh, as always, guys, if you like the video, um, like PvP videos are best in my opinion, uh, press like, subscribe, share, it always gives me more and more motivation to make more videos for this amazing game. I wish everybody amazing morning, day and night, uh, we are going to see each other very, very soon. Bye bye and good luck.